My name is Rachel. Welcome to my channel. I make videos about balance in medical school and now residency and how I'm able to maintain my health and my life and my hobbies and interests while in medicine. So this is going to be an update video for kind of what's going on right now because I am right now in internal medicine residency orientation and I will be officially starting residency on July 1st. So I wanted to give an update about my intern year schedule, my Comlex level three, the last and final board exam for the Comlex exams that I have to take. And then I'm also going to talk about what I'm using to study for my Comlex level three, which I will be taking in my intern year. And hint, it is the TrueLearn question banks and this video is sponsored by TrueLearn. But before we talk about the features of TrueLearn that I really like, I wanted to give you an update on what's been going on. So I have gotten an active duty in internal medicine residency. Um, that was my goal all throughout medical school. I'm extremely grateful and happy to be at this point. And I've gotten my intern year schedule. I'm gonna be starting off on general internal medicine wards on July 1st for two weeks. And then I'm gonna be doing two weeks of like my clinic slash ambulatory um, outpatient medicine with my primary care patients for two weeks. And then another month of wards. And basically I have about four and a half to five months of internal medicine wards in my intern year, two months of ICU, two months of cardiology, and then two months of night slash ambulatory switching back and forth each week. And then a month of ICU and a month or a month of ID, infectious disease, and then neuro, which is neurology. So I have a lot of inpatient rotations I'm going to be in the hospital. Um, that's actually why they called it residency because the residents were like residents of the hospital. Um, not actually anymore. We have the 80 hour work weeks and I have a great residency program, but I have to take my complex level three exam by March of this year. So I'm kind of starting to think about the game plan for that. And what I'm going to do is use the true learn question bank. And I'm, I feel comfortable doing this because when I was in medical school, I used the true in question banks to study for level one and level two and I really like it because as a DO um, I went to an osteopathic medical school and I take the complex examinations uh, we have our osteopathic manipulative medicine questions and knowledge and the things that we learned integrated in our exams and I really like that true learn not only has practice questions for this that I can do on my own if I just want to go over OMM stuff but the true learn practice exams have also the OMM integrated throughout just like my complex exam so I really like that because I believe that the way you practice is the way that you play and I think it's really important to simulate that and to have what your actual test is going to be like when you're actually studying have it be similar so I wanted to talk about my favorite features of it and I'm going to show you and then I'm going to give you an update video in July with how things are going and how my board studying is going and just how residency is going. What the Comlex Level 3 True Learn Question Bank dashboard looks like when you first open it up. I like how it says your overall percent correct, your percentile of the last 100 questions and then how many questions you've done. And then you can also actually label the tests that you're taking. So this was all cardiology. So I called it cardio because I know that I need to practice that. Um, and then I really like how they also have your recent income correct topics over here so you can track what you need to work on that's great and then another thing that I like is that you can track how you are doing against the national average um, with your percentile so national average mine to keep in mind I only took one test so I'm not actually 90th percentile and then it also gives some information about your average time per question and then your last hundred questions the percent that you've gotten right and then another huge thing that I really like as being a DO it's really important that I go over my osteopathic manipulative medicine so I'm I'm able to go over here and just select OMM questions and then it's organized by pure OMM questions, integrated OMM with some clinical medical vignette questions and then just no OMM questions. So you can really focus on your clinical medical knowledge or your OMM knowledge closer to the test date, which I usually like to do a lot of stuff with OMM closer to my test date so it's fresh in my head. But I can also do it systems based, which I think is really important because I like to break things down in different categories. So I think it's nice that you can do it that way. And then as a DO, the Comlex exams are actually made from the Comlex Master Blue prints based on these objectives so it's also broken down by these objectives which I think is great because this is what you need to do to pass the exam this is how the exam is broken down it's on the NBOME's website organized in these categories so I think this is really great for preparing for your complex level 3 exam and I'm going to be giving updates on how my complex level 3 exam studying is going and just how residency is going 
Thank you so much for watching my little update video on intern year and how I'm going to study for my Comlex Level 3 exam. And I really hope that you subscribe so you can check out the video in July with my little update on how things are going.